nice to see you, pal. I'm good. I am so excited. I'm sure you are. I want to welcome you to Latin Heat Hollywood Talks, and we're going to have a talk, uh, Gregory Nava, about uh, Selena is uh, going to be re-released after 25 years. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, that never happens. I mean, it just doesn't happen that a film goes back into theaters. 500 theaters across the United States, uh, you know, 25 years on. I mean, it's amazing. And also the film was just named to the National Registry of uh, Culturally Significant Films as an American classic. So Selena is now up there with Casablanca and Citizen Kane and all the greatest films, you know. It's just humbling. It's amazing. So, and in addition to that, it's going back into movie theaters. So I think that you can really say that all of this is due to the beautiful spirit of Selena. Because here you go, 25 years on, people are gonna have a chance to go back into the movie theaters and see Selena on the big screen. You know, she, I believe she's even more popular than she was back in 1995 when unfortunately she, she left this world. But why was it important at that time? Because she wasn't as popular as she is now. She wasn't like a world known name. Why was it important for you and Moctezuma to do this film? The reason that the, the Quintanilla family was very much about making the movie was because they wanted to cement her legacy in a positive way. We all wanted to do what we could do to turn this tragedy into something positive and um, preserve her legacy and allow her to be able to continue to inspire our community. So we really wanted to give all of our talent and everything that we had, uh, me, Jennifer Lopez, Eddie Olmos, all of the cast, all of the crew, uh, to really work as hard as we could. I've never been in a movie like this. It was very emotional, really. Right. And the support of the Tejano community was unbelievable. We were able to mount scenes like the Houston Astronome scene that opens yes. the film. 35,000 people came. 35,000 people came, Bell, for free. They did, we didn't pay them. They came, okay. they came dressed as they would do a Selena concert. They stayed all day. When you see that scene, there's no CGI, no visual effects. That's real people filling a stadium. And that kind of love is one of the things that makes the movie so, so powerful and still resonate today. And that's what the spirit of Selena inspires in us is love. So many amazing, amazing things in that movie. So many young talent at that time who is now doing some wonderful things still in Hollywood. And that's something that your movies do. You, you introduced a lot of Latino talent that has gone on to do some wonderful, wonderful work. Um, I wanted to also go back to another scene that is so beautiful in the film, which is the end of the movie, which was such a delicate scene. And you did it so, so beautifully, which was when the family is at the hospital and it was found out that, you know, Selena had passed and it was a one take uh, scene. Yes, it was a one text take scene. The actors were so emotionally into the film. So by the time we filmed it, they all felt her passing because they'd been involved in her life, shooting her entire life. I'm glad you asked about that because I did a special seminar at the Motion Picture Academy about that sequence at the end of the film because how do you deal with that? You know, how am I going to deal with that as a um, sequence because it's so important and yet so delicate. And I actually went to a very old model of how to deal with it. And that was ancient Greek tragedy at Oedipus Rex and the Oresteia. Because in those film, in those uh, plays, you don't see the act of violence on the stage. That happens off stage. What you see on stage is the effect, the consequences of the violence. And this to me is a problem that Hollywood has. They have movies with all kinds of violence but you don't see the consequences of the violence. Whereas the ancient Greeks didn't show the violence, they showed the consequences. So I wanted to do it in a dream realist way. She dreams that she's on the stage, suddenly the rose comes, we hear all the, you know, the news reports, you don't see it. But the first person that you see is Yolanda and how this affected her. She's got a gun at her head, she wants to kill herself. She's calling out for her mother, 
her life is destroyed. Then you see the family weeping in the hospital. You see how it affected them. And finally, the fans. And 8,000 people came in Corpus Christi to recreate that moment, the night that Selena passed, when everybody came with candles and uh, memories and photographs of Selena to mourn her passing. 8,000 people came and helped us recreate that moment. So you see how it affected her fans. And so that allowed the film without words, just images and emotion to capture uh, the, uh, the, the feeling of this that this made. And, and, and yes, people do all weep at the end of that sequence. And it was a very uh, difficult thing for me as a writer and a director to, to, to find a way to do it. And I'm very proud of, of that. And I do feel that Selena's spirit was with us. And then of course, at the end, we actually see the real Selena. How long has this been in the works that this was gonna happen? Cause this is so exciting for so many people. It's been in the works for a while, but I found out about it. You know, they approached me kind of later, uh, you know, about doing it. So it wasn't anything that I started. It was something that, you know, Iconic and Warner Brothers decided, hey, let's do this, you know. And this is, like I said, you know, it's very rarely done. And it's an open-ended release, you know. But I really think that uh, it, the first weekend, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, is a perfect weekend. And by the way, April 10th is my birthday. So um, everybody, birthday. you know, come to the theaters. Oh, thank you. Come to the theaters. You can go to the website, which is selena25anniversary.com. Selena25anniversary.com. You, you put your zip code in there and the theaters in your area that are going to show the movie will appear and you can buy your tickets there online. Although I was just doing an interview with the lady who said that she went on the website to get tickets for the show she wanted to go to and it was almost sold out. So go fast oh. and get your tickets and, and enjoy the movie. And for the new generations that have only seen the film on television, this is a incredible opportunity because all the drama, all the humor, all the music is so much more powerful on the big screen with the beautiful image and that wonderful sound. And after the movie is over, I want us all to come together and say anything for Salinas. <laughs> okay. You know, we worked with Eric, the actor that you cast in that, anything for Salinas. He's made like a Isn't little great? cottage industry out of that. He's at events and everybody comes and wants to, you know, him to sign the autograph. So again, that movie was so beautiful and so wonderful for so many reasons, for the fans, for the talent, for uh, the audiences. And, you know, thank you for writing that beautiful story. And I'm so happy that Warner Brothers decided to bring it back. So congratulations and happy birthday beforehand. And we wish you all the best. And hey, when you're in town in May, you know, look us up. Let's get together. Let's do a reunion of Let's the get talent. Together. Wouldn't that be yes, nice? And you, know, and, and, you know, I do have to thank all of the cast, you know, the actors, you know, Latin Heat. I mean, Jennifer, Eddie, John Seda, Jackie Guetta, they all did an amazing job. And Jennifer did a mind-boggling job. I think Entertainment Weekly, you know, said it was like one of the greatest performances in the history of musical biopics and it really is she really brought it uh, on you know with her performance in that film she's wonderful and the whole cast is wonderful and i was so blessed as a director to have such marvelous talent and don't we have the most incredible talent in our community don't we that's right and all they amazing. need is an opportunity that's all yeah. you know and i'm very happy that this film and me family and other films that i've made I've been able to give opportunities to our brilliant talent because we yes. are the most gifted group. We have the greatest people, really. And, and you know, now, Lupe Ontiveros oh, oh, yeah. is incredible in the movie yeah. as well. You know, it takes films like Mi Familia, El Norte, Selena, to actually show the industry, look at this. And I think it's taken yes. a long while for them to realize it. But you can go back to the films that yeah, that young Latino filmmakers did, like you know Jesus Trevino, Miguel Arteta, all of these films that that the talent has always been there. Robert Rodriguez. So now it's yeah. like 
and and so much so that they bring back the movie. So congratulations again. Selena, <laughs> 25anniversary.com. Find your theaters, get your tickets. It's a once in a lifetime experience because films do not get re-released like this. But Selena, yes, because her magic continues to overcome obstacles. She overcame impossible obstacles in her life and she's continuing to. Her, her spirit really inspired us when we made the film and it continues to, to inspire our community and not just our community. Everywhere I go, whether people are Latino or not, when they find out I made Selena, they go crazy. They love that film. And now with streaming and all this, it's gone all over the world. And the Quintanilla family tells me people come from China, Africa, France, Germany to the Selena Museum in Corpus Christi because they've seen the movie and her story has touched their heart. So Selena really has become universal, her story. And that's another point of pride for our community. So what a beautiful opportunity everybody has to see the movie once again on the big screen. And thanks, Belle. And yeah, thank for sure. You. Thank you, Greg. Yes. Thank you for all uh, that you do. And wonderful to see you, even if it's on screen. Hasta luego.